Hi, my name is James, and today we're going to be taking a look at the JCS Winds Intermediate Alto Saxophone. When you order an instrument from us online, whether it's from jcswinds.com, Amazon, or eBay, this is how it will show up boxed at your doorstep. Except yours will have a shipping label on top, of course. So, let's dive inside. The first thing you will notice is the saxophone in its case, wrapped in bubble wrap. Set the box aside. Simply unwrap the saxophone. Set the bow wrap aside, of course. And what you'll find is the JCS Wins saxophone case. In this case, we're looking at the alto saxophone. Now, before we open up the case and check out the saxophone, I'd like to talk about some key features of this case. As you can see, there's a front pocket. And in this front pocket, it will contain a shoulder strap for the case. You can also store your accessories in this pocket. You'll notice a handle on the side of the case with studs on the bottom and a handle on the top of the case with studs on the bottom. My favorite part about the case though is the back because when you reveal this Velcro pouch you'll find two backpack straps. That can come in handy, especially for students. All right. Now let's take a look inside. The first thing you will notice is a thank you card from us stating our motto and some contact information. Then the next thing will be a neck strap and a cleaning cloth. Over here, you'll find a standard mouthpiece that comes with all the saxophones. It works well and can get you started, but we always recommend upgrading in the future. Next, you will notice the saxophone and the neck are in these pouches. Here's the neck. It'll have the JCS logo on it. And as you can see, we're reviewing the uh, lacquered finish intermediate alto saxophone. The saxophone's bag, the body of the saxophone, uh, its bag has a drawstring. So simply release the drawstring and remove the bag and you will find the saxophone. So there it is. You will notice that all of the keys are wedged shut. Uh, this is to protect the saxophone during the shipment process. Before we send out all of our saxophones, we overlook them in the repair shop to assure that they're in tip-top playing condition. And we wouldn't want to risk the saxophone going out of regulation, so we wedge the keys shut so that they don't bounce up and down during shipment. The wedges are very easy to remove. Simply grab them and remove them. They're very soft and they do not push down on the keys too hard and they do not damage the lacquer. A tip for removing these in uh, hard to reach spaces, simply grab a pair of tweezers and be careful not to touch the lacquer and uh, pinch each one and pull it out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. As you can see, I've assembled the saxophone and sat it on a stand so that we can take a look at some of the key features of this instrument. But before we do, I'd like to make a disclaimer. If this is your first time uh, assembling a saxophone and you are uncertain about how to do it, reach out for help to an instructor. Because if you don't, uh, you could potentially damage the instrument. 
which would not be covered under the 14-day return policy. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to point out about this saxophone that you can find on many intermediate and professional level saxophones is the high F sharp key, which is a common feature, but it's a nice one to have. The next thing I'd like to point out is, and you can see this better in the product listing of the up close photos, is the double key arms on the low B flat, B, and C key. This helps these larger pad sizes close more evenly and seal better. This feature is typically only found on higher end modern professional saxophones, uh, which tend to be a little pricey. So this is a nice thing that uh, was added on the design of this saxophone. Okay, let's see here. The next thing that I'd like to point out is the JCS Wins logo on the bell. And now let's go to the back side here and take a look at the back. You'll see the model number, serial number, and you'll see this neat looking thumb rest. This thumb rest has the standard hook as well as a side rest so that as your thumb wraps around the instrument, it has a place to sit. I really like this feature. The next thing is we'll go up to the octave mechanism here and you'll see the thumb rest as well as the octave key which has a roller on it. To me, I like this roller, but I could do without it. The saxophone doesn't necessarily need it, but we decided to include it anyway as a nice feature. And of course, the spatula keys for your left hand pinky have a rocker arm, which is a common design on all modern saxophones. Now, I'd like to talk a little bit about where these saxophones are manufactured. They're manufactured by a private manufacturer in China. Over the past few decades, China has earned a bad reputation for sending musical instruments over here to the United States. And I will say there have been a lot of poor quality instruments that have come from there. But this, but to say China in general provides bad instruments is a bad generalization. Um, as I stated, this comes from a private manufacturer over there that takes a lot of pride in the work that they do. So this is a very good example of a high quality saxophone that comes from China. Now many instrument manufacturers, top name instrument manufacturers, have actually moved their factories to China. So there's a lot of instruments coming from China right now which are very good. Some people argue that the brass that they use over there is soft and a lot, lot, lots of arguments go against these instruments. However, this is not an example of a bad instrument. This is a very, very high quality instrument. And I'm certain that with our 14 day return policy, uh, within that period of time, you'll find that you're going to decide to keep this instrument because it's a very nice saxophone for students. It's very affordable for the parents of students. And it's a very nice saxophone for anybody who needs a spare saxophone. Maybe you're mainly a tenor player and you need an alto. Well, this would be a great affordable option if you don't play alto every single day or you just need a spare backup saxophone. Um, we also carry a tenor saxophone as well that has all these features minus the roller on the octave key. Uh, some f we offer it in a variety of finishes as well. Uh, this is the standard gold lacquer, uh, which is the most affordable option. We offer a what we call a vintage matte finish. Uh, we offer silver plating, and we offer a dark vintage lacquer saxophone as well. In my opinion, all of these saxophones uh, finishes look very good. <clears throat> so. That pretty much concludes the review of this product. If you have any questions about this product, uh, you can reach out to us at our support email at support at jcswins.com. Again, that's support at jcswins.com. If anything appears out of stock online, you can just email us and we'll send you an order form and we'll get you a saxophone. Uh, the other thing is if you'd like any 
cosmetic customizations done to the saxophone, that's the way you can contact us to have anything like that done. And um, another thing that you could have customized, for example, would be the pads. Uh, you could reach out, out to us at that line. And uh, we, we have high quality pads on the saxophone already with flat metal resonators. However, if you'd like to upgrade to something even higher quality with custom resonators, such as Rue pads with Maestro resonators, uh, you can do that as well and we can, we can have that done for you. It just may delay your order. With that said, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And we'd like to hear back from you. Let us know how you like the instrument. Let us know your opinions, thoughts, concerns. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.